Coast Guard is looking for the sunken cargo ship that went down in the Bermuda Triangle a week ago this morning during Hurricane Joaquin. 33 people on board are believed to have died. CBS 2's Jamie Yukis has the latest from Jacksonville, Florida. Everybody's worst nightmare just came true. Claudia Schultz is devastated that the search for her husband, Stephen, and the 32 other crew members aboard El Faro has been called off. The Coast Guard suspended its search six and a half days after it began, a decision Captain Mark Fedor calls painful and personal. One of our Coast Guard chief petty officers had a brother that was on the El Faro. President Obama issued a solemn statement. As Americans, our economic prosperity and quality of life depend upon men and women who serve aboard ships like the El Faro. Tote Maritime, the company that owns El Faro, has come under fire for letting the crew leave despite the threat of Hurricane Joaquin. I think there was some greed there. But, you know, come on, we've got to make some money here. A federal investigation spearheaded by the National Transportation Safety Board is now underway. At the top of their list is finding the ship's voyage data recorder, which contains key information about El Faro's position and speed, as well as the communication between Tote Maritime and the ship in the hours before it sank. What I find in peace is I envision the entire crew of the El Faro that went down in the ship together, and then that's their final resting place. The voyage data recorder is activated when it hits water and is designed to send out pings for 30 days.